Hey, John War here with another Adventure Cooking at Global Outfitters. And on today's show, I'm going to be doing a recipe similar to one I did before, except instead of quail, we're going to be using pheasant. Now, this is a bacon wrap pheasant recipe, and we're going to be putting it on the Viking grill when I get them wrapped up in the bacon. I'm going to put some, uh, I've got some baby portobello mushrooms, and I've also got some red onion we're going to be putting inside the, uh, in the middle of the pheasant, wrapping them in bacon. And I'd also like to thank Captain Dick Capper from down in Gulf Shores. He's a captain of Traveler, uh, the boat we went out fishing on. And uh, Zeke's Landing, he's the one that uh, gave me the, the pheasant, and I believe they came from North Dakota. So let's get started here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, uh, well, actually, I went ahead and I filleted the breast off the bone. I'm going to take, and I, and I sliced them long ways in half, and I'm going to take each one. I've got my portobello mushrooms already cut up. So I'm going to put a couple of those in there, and then I'm going to take a couple of pieces of red onion. I'm going to fold this over, and then I'm going to take a piece of bacon and wrap the whole thing up. And I believe, as I told you before, when we did the, the bacon wrap quail, is everything I do, I like it to be simple. And this is, couldn't be much simpler than this. So we wrap them up and take our toothpick and hold everything together. And there's one ready to go. And let's do one more. Take my portobello mushroom. This one's not as wide, so I'll just use one piece of onion. And one thing I didn't mention, uh, once I got the pheasant uh, filleted, I put, it, I put some zesty Italian uh, seasoning on it, dressing, and I put it in the refrigerator and let it sit for about three hours. Then I brought it out and put some salt and pepper. And I believe that's all we need to do to this and just get our Viking grill going. And we'll put these on the grill get them going. We'll know they're done when the bacon's done. So we'll probably leave them on there about 10, 10, between 10 and 15 minutes just to make sure the bacon's done. And we know when it's done, everything else is going to be done. So let's get it on the grill, get it cooked, and we'll be back to show you the finished product in a few minutes. Sam Hall here with Global Outfitters, and we're going to tell you a little bit about the Double D Gravity Feeders by Wilderness Cost. Now look at the easy load that you have on this 150 pound capacity feeder, as well as the 300 pound feeder. You're going to feed only your deer. You're tired of feeding varmints and hogs. You want with this unit. You're going to keep 95% of your food so going to go to the deer you're trying to feed. So listen, go to GlobalOutfitters.com, check them out in the pro shop, get yourself a gravity feeder, one of the Deer Diner Double D feeders from Wilderness Calls. This is one generation to the next of the most trusted tree stands in the industry. A history of innovative design and technology passed on from father to son. Certified to TMA standards for your safety. Quality engineered by an American company founded on the tradition of hunting from high places. The new Summit Switchblade. It's everything you've come to expect from the most trusted name in the tree stand market. Hey, welcome back to Adventure Cooking. I've got our stuffed pheasant off the grill. I've let our Viking grill cool down and now we're ready to serve up the pheasant. So first of all, let me tell you how easy this recipe was. You remember I told you, anything I cook, I like to make it very easy. So all this was, was I took the pheasant, I filleted it off the bone, I took the long strips and cut them in, in two long ways, and then I wrapped uh, a piece of portobello mushroom and also a slice of red onion in the middle, and then I wrapped it in bacon. I soaked the whole thing in a zesty Italian dressing, and then I put it on the grill, and it took a little longer than I thought. I said 15 to 20 minutes. It was about 30 minutes because the grill was a little... Uh, more like a medium heat than a real hot heat, but they turned out perfect and I'm ready to serve it up. And I think I'm going to reciprocate with my friend Sam. So Sam, come over and let's, let's try this out. Yeah, he let me try out his dove recipe, so I want you to try my, my pheasant. So um, that, Captain Dick Capper gave us these um, pheasants. Yeah, this. You know where they came from? I believe they came from North Dakota. I believe he has a hunting camp up there and he was telling me about it and actually invited us to go with him hunting, so I think we'll, we'll try to do that this year. Well, thank you, Captain Dick. So yeah, cut, This looks good, John. Cut into that, and let's see how that turned out. So there's a toothpick in here, I think. So I'll get rid of that. Mm. 
And I believe as long as you let the, let the bacon cook all the way, everything else is going to be plenty, plenty done. A little of this wild rice here. Thumbs up on this one. Perfect. Well, I'll tell you what, from John and Sam, that we're here at uh, Global Outfitters Adventure Cooking, and any of these recipes you see, you can go to globaloutfitters.com and check them out there. So we'll be seeing you next time. See you soon.